Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. A few weeks back, we released How to Shoot Like John Wick, Volume 1, where we went out to Terran Tactical Innovations just outside of Los Angeles, and we trained with Terran Butler. Terran Butler, of course, being the technical advisor and the trainer for John Wick 2 and John Wick 3, and a legend in his own right. The video was very popular with you guys, and we've received a lot of requests saying, hey, when is John Wick episode two coming out? But by far the best one was my buddy Aaron who called me hammered drunk maybe a week ago at about midnight and said, hey man, I've been on YouTube for 30 minutes trying to find how to shoot like John Wick episode two. And I was like, dude, we haven't done it yet. So that's what we're doing today, How to Shoot Like John Wick, Episode 2. If you haven't seen Episode 1, please go back and watch it because we start with the fundamentals going out of the holster and taking your first shots all the way up to the double tap. Today, we're going to focus on something a little bit more technical. Today's emphasis is going to be on addressing multiple targets, which is something you see, of course, in the John Wick series of films. And it's a pretty good skill to have, especially if you carry defensively or if you're a concealed carrier. We're going to begin by talking about some basic mechanics, and then we're going to get all the way up into instinctive shooting, point shooting. I've sometimes heard it called the speed rock. That is shooting from the hip because it'll shave a half second, quarter second off of your time and really helps you if you have to address multiple threats simultaneously, very rapidly. We go through that skill in great detail here and then Taryn Butler is going to close this video out with a very sick demonstration of it. Guys, I'm ashamed to say that I had maybe practiced a speed rock or point shooting once or twice in my entire life. And I've been a concealed weapons instructor for maybe six, seven years now. So I'm ashamed to say I've never practiced that. I had almost no experience with it, but as you guys see, if you watch this tutorial, it's very easy to get good at it very quickly, especially when you have an excellent teacher. Here's the video. All right, James. So we worked on double taps, a little bit of transitions. Now I wanna work on bigger transitions. So, say you're gonna shoot this guy all the way to that right guy over there, right? Mm -hmm. So where would you set up for that? Um, this all the way over there? Yeah. Uh, in the middle? Exactly. You'll see a lot of guys, they'll put all their, all their emphasis, say it's that guy, I'll make it even worse for you, mm -hmm. all the way to there. They'll start like this, they'll shoot all the way across and they're like, ah, they're off balance. Mm -hmm. So split that pie down the middle where you just kind of pivot your hips. You wanna do a lot of this with your hips, you're like a machine gun turret. Mm -hmm. You're not with your arms everywhere, you're pivoting with your hips as far as you can go. So for right now, let's double tap this one and then double tap to this one here. Shooter ready, stand by. Good. First double tap was great. It was an 18 split with two on top of each other. It didn't get better than that. Your transition was a, let's see here, an 85. Let's see if we can chop, chop that down to a 50. Before you were doing 50s just between there and there. Mm -hmm. Is it humanly possible to do a 50 all the way to there? Yeah. I don't know. Now you got like a goal. You're trying to break the four minute mile back in the 60s. Once somebody did it, they all did it. Here we go. Shooter ready. Stand by. Good. I want that in the 60s now. A 70. So you took some time off. You're coming up and you're just kind of pushing over. I want you to drive in there quick like that guy's coming to wipe you out. Okay. Let's do one more. And you got great hits. Don't. I don't want you to lose the accuracy. I know I'm all about speed and shredding all that crap, but it's all worthless without the accuracy. Right. I use the tortoise and the hare as an example. You know, a lot of shooters are like the tortoise and the hare. You have two guys come out. One guy's a madman shredding and missing, and the other guy's slow as a snail hitting all alphas. What's the best of both worlds? Right in the middle. Be the fast guy that hits everything. Yeah, we got to mm, get in the 60s. Yep. Even though I don't even know if that's possible. I might have set some weird goal. We'll see. What, uh, TB, you want to show us? Yeah, I'll try it. Stand by. Okay, how do I read that? Um, a 97 first shot, transition was a 48. So it's possible, definitely it's, possible. I'll try one more. Shooter ready, stand by. Total time 144, uh, transition 41. Damn. Now don't go crazy, be smooth, okay? okay. Wanna be consistent, all right. Shooter ready, stand by. Good, 228, transition, 
62. We're almost there. I want to break 60, remember? Here we go. Shooter ready. Stand by. Good. Great time. 218. Transition. 58. You're in the 50s. Heck yeah. Now, here's a weird story. A uh, guy that's done a lot for me, amazing person, J.J. Perry, second unit director, stunt coordinator, all in John Wick and Fate of the Furious and the upcoming uh, Gemini Man. F awesome guy. Sorry, I cussed. I would train his ass off, right? A little too fast for his own good, finally got accurate. He always shot better when he told me to shoot like one of the runs. Mm -hmm. When I ran a couple courses for him, he'd watch, like he'd be stuck with this like eight second run on this course and just misses and goofball stuff and whatever. And then I would shoot for him and like the other guys here. And every time, all of them, whoever, other movie stars, they all shot better when I did a couple runs. They just kind of watch the footwork. And, un, you know, they don't get intimidated because I'm going fast or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like you, you just shot better immediately. You didn't go, oh, I got to go beat his time. Ah. You're smart enough and have enough experience in shooting that you just shot good. And you just did it. Immediately went from 87 and all that down to 60 and in the 50s within two runs. That was awesome. Oh, well, got a great teacher. Let's do more stuff. All right. So, James, um, I don't do videos on this whatever really haven't but i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it today um i do a lot of instinctive shooting a lot of point shooting from the hip i have videos out there doing plate racks in under two seconds mm -hmm. from the hip crazy stuff um, it's just kind of what i like to do it wasn't planned i was a younger and just had a browning buck mark just shooting steel then became a thing years ago some funny guy at a match filmed me i was bored i was shooting a plate rack in like 207 and shooting usa saw that it was pretty cool it was like eight yards away and Knocked over six plates in 207, and they ended up coming out doing an episode of Shooting USA and did it like 185 from the hip. It was fun. So there's a video I did a long time ago, about a year ago with Keanu. So it was like 10 yards away. I would draw and shoot six shots in the A zone, and we were debating like he wanted to see what was the difference. And I did that a long time ago with James Cameron too, wanting to know the difference. It's always going to be about half a second faster from the hip on the first closer target. Some people don't think it has any bearing in real life scenarios. I think it does. Uh, you don't always have all day long to get a perfect sight picture. Mm -hmm. If somebody's right on top of you, you want to be able to have an instinctive ability to point shoot. Mm -hmm. I've done it in matches here and there. It doesn't win the match for me, but it's kind of a fun, cool thing mm -hmm. to do. So I'm going to show it to you today. This is a great gun for that. I didn't learn with this gun because it wasn't invented when I was younger. I'm 100 years old. But it's, it, this will really like, save you a ton of time and ammo. But I just want to start at a realistic distance. You know, Something close where they're just on you. And have all data. Oh, I'm gonna look at my perfect sight picture. Hold on, get back. You know, you want to get get the shots off quick. We'll just start with this gun here. So let me get rid of your real one just for a minute. So we'll just start here, and just bring it up and just double tap two in, into the heart. Go ahead, bring it out quick and take them out. Good. So let's just practice this. Just come out, boom, boom, just like that. You come out, boom, boom. There's different ways of doing it. Uh, Sean Ryan, who's an amazing trainer, uh, Navy SEAL. He comes up, he does this thing, and I like it, where he's like, he's blocking his head. Mm -hmm. You could do that or not do that. It's up to you. It's like if somebody's on you and they throw a punch, you've automatically built that into your system. Nothing wrong with that. It's cool. Just come up. But when I do it, I'm just right when that muzzle is kind of level, I'm shooting. So I'm not coming back in here. You could do that, and there's reasons to do that. I'm just kind of like shooting at the halfway point of my normal shooting. So I'm coming up. I'm getting him, then I'm going into my regular stance. I'm not going to sit there all day long shooting from the hip like some mm -hmm. brave cowboy Bill or something. The thing you'll understand about instinctive shooting is the bullets go where you're looking. I did a video where I shot 48 shots of three guns, shotgun, rifle, pistol, 49 shots, and none of it was aimed. And it was all, I'm looking where I want the bullets to go. And that's how I did it. So I'm looking at that A zone right there. Draw it up, boom, boom. Let's just be very safe. Okay, start building that in your muscle memory. Okay, let's go really slow at first and safe. Don't worry about some raging speed or nonsense. Let's stand a little more to your right. There we go. Okay, don't worry about crazy speed. Shooter ready, stand by. Good, perfect hit. You couldn't get better than that. Your first shot was one second. Let's do that again where it just becomes subconsciously easy to do. Shooter ready, stand by. Good, good hits. First shot was 101. Shooter ready, stand by. Perfect. First shot was 94. Shooter ready, stand by. Excellent. First shot was 93. Since it's already so easy for you, let's add one more target. Him and then one more guy behind him. You're doing awesome. Shooter ready, stand by. 
See that? Good, you're a natural. Some people, it's just not gonna happen. I almost give up. I use that last bullet to put myself in our misery. <laughs> Shooter ready, stand by. <laughs> Look at that, two A's, two A's. That was awesome. That, that, the total time on that was 173. Good, draw was 97. Let's do that again. Good, I like that you aimed after you reloaded. There'd be no point to go back to hip shooting. Right. All right, now we're gonna do him and two more guys. Okay. Jerry, you want those bullets to go. Shooter ready, stand by. Excellent, 245. Let's do all, all three guys now, him and the other, th other ones. Shooter ready, stand by. Dang, 287, that was awesome. Thanks, Terry. This guy's awesome. You know, you and like uh, Zach Morris are really good at it. Gosh, that's the first time in my life I've been compared favorably to Zach Morris, <laughs> and I really appreciate that. All right. How's his hair, though? It's nice. Yours is a little bit better. Yes! <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Stand by. God, can you guys believe Taryn Butler? Is that guy a madman or what? Absolutely incredible. It was a fantastic experience. I have to say thank you so much to Taryn Tactical for having me. Guys, this video series has been pretty popular, hanging out with Taryn Butler and the gang over there. So we're probably going to go back out there at some point in the future and take some more content for you guys. But the good news is we have more content pieces from Terran Tactical coming up in the future. I want to say thank you to Blue Alpha Gear. Thank you to Ventura Munitions, our ammo sponsor. Couldn't do it without you guys. Also, we couldn't do it without our Patreon supporters. Guys, go to Patreon. Sign up. We give away a free gun every month. It's not sponsored by YouTube or Patreon, nor is it endorsed or associated with those companies. But if you are at a $5 level or higher, you are automatically entered into a drawing for a free pistol every month. This month is November, and we are giving away a free Springfield XDS Mod 2 in 9mm, the whole package. So great little package that we're giving away here in November of 2018. And we've got a very special giveaway in December of 2018 for Christmas. Also, when we hit 1,000 Patreon supporters, we're at about 750 or 800 right now. When we hit 1,000 Patreon supporters, everybody at the $10 tier and higher is automatically eligible to win a Galil Ace in 5.56 or 223. That drawing is going to occur the day that we hit 1,000 Patreon supporters. So get on there fast, and if you want to sign up for the $10 tier, you hit those rewards faster, and you'll be eligible for a Galil. In any event, guys, thanks a ton. I'll see you next week.